Shall we talk about new releases? Yes. I see this Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is out. I thought that was out. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess we that. talked about we it talked already about because it. Yeah. I have it. Right. Yeah. They've had a big patch that came out today, I think, or okay, yesterday. Well, then maybe I'll check it out again. Yeah. But uh, I was not too impressed with what it had so far. Right. I thought you had a hard I time even you, getting into games, right? Yeah. If you have the original games and you're having fun with those, ship. Mm-hmm. I know you do. Then there's no reason for you to get this. We we celebrate both of the Battlefront ones and both of the Battlefront twos in this household. Yeah. They all get they all get played. Excellent. I am also. I received another game that's on this list. Uh, Outcast: A New Beginning. Uh, that's on the PlayStation Five. I believe it's on the Xbox as well and PC. Um, I don't know if it's on the Switch. Uh, so don't quote me on that. But uh, <laughs> it is an open world RPG where you play as a guy. Oh, I wish I could remember his name because his name is so generically funny. Uh, <laughs> but you're you die and you come back to life and you don't have your memories yet. You could speak the language on this alien planet and you know you have to help these people, even though you're not 100 percent sure why. So you're you're you couldn't remember the name Cutter Slade. Cutter Slade. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for looking it up for me. Come on, that's a funny ass name. That is. It's not a joke though, right? It's supposed to be serious or it's supposed to be serious. His name is really Cutter Slate. Uh-huh. And a good it's, name. I'm yeah. looking at pictures of it here. It's a it's a decent game. It's not going to knock anyone's socks off. It's like graphically just good enough. If you, if you want my honest opinion on that. But it has some really cool ideas to it. Uh, you have a jetpack, so there's some fun traversal elements to it that make th- that are unique, uh, as well as the weapons system. You have a gun, you have a handgun, but when you level up, you unlock new attachments for this handgun that kind of changes how it works and what you want it to do. Like, oh, I want concussive blast, or I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put a- make it a submachine gun and. So there's there's some cool elements and some really smart and fun ideas. I would say the problem with the game is that it could sometimes take a little while to get where it's going. Like there's a lot of cutscenes, maybe too many. Like you play for five minutes and then it's like four cutscenes in a row and then it's play for five minutes and it's like, okay, I get it. You don't have to show me a cutscene for every person I talk to. Right. And I remember this. This yeah. this game. This ah, uh, I remember the original game. Okay, I I thought Cutter Slade. It, it sounded familiar. Me, yeah, it sounded familiar. I'm like, I, I've heard this name before. Yes, the original Outcast was back in 1999. This is the sequel to that game. This so. is the yes. Yeah, not a not a bad game. I don't know if it's seventy dollars. Good. Ugh. You got a seven from IGN. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's a it's a very solid seven game, which again, it's it's not a bad thing. It's just not it's not you know I don't know if it's going to be on anyone's game of the year list. So, but the two hundred dollar version is that the version? Yeah, that's what I have. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> it comes with a real jetpack. Mm-hmm. Fully What's functional this come with jetpack. for two hundred dollars. We have to. Yeah, I was interested in what comes in these two hundred dollar editions of these games i am gonna say it doesn't come with a statue i feel like it should come with a statue of cutter slade <laughs> and i'm life mad. size it does it comes with a eye-catching high detail 9.5 inch statue eye-catching is a probably the right word and people will be like "Ooh, who is that a statue of and you're like you don't know cutter slade <laughs> more like what the fuck is that thing why do you why is it here what are you 12 so- so it was very nice of them to send me a copy of that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. Send the drone. Send the statue. <laughs> yeah, if you want to send me a statue, by all means, go ahead. Put it right is there. It, next is to... it fun though? I like, literally would have fun? no idea where to put it. Huh? Is it fun? It's, it's fun enough. It's not like I'm having the best time with it, but I'm not hating it either. It, like I said, it's a good, a solid seven. It could be a li- it, it, there's pacing issues. I I think is the problem. Got it. All right. What mm-hmm. else? Uh, well, that's all I'm paying playing. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi Fi Rush is now on the PlayStation Five. It's a good. Game. I saw I was getting higher reviews there. Mm-hmm. Why? People are weird. I, I don't know. It, it, it you can get into a whole internet uh, black hole of Xbox. Oh tax. God! I blame the media elite. Mm-hmm. As, as the gaming, you the gaming media elite too. Especially. The new PJ Masks game is out. I know Shipwreck's a big fan of uh, of that show. I, I haven't watched PJ Masks in a while. Once they started like getting, they expanded the roster some. Really? I, it's not I, just the three of them anymore? Oh, no. They introduced like an arm, armadillo. He's, he's an armadillo. I, named Dylan? Yeah. Got it. Yep. Uh, and they, they introduced another one too. I don't remember. It's been a while. Like it's probably been like two, three years since they introduced these characters. Instead of, should have stuck with the core ones. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's amazing that those shows like are still going. Like that's a pretty long run for PJ Masks at this point. A lot of those kids shows managed to go a long time. PJ Masks was started right at the tail end of Elliot being old enough for PJ Masks. Right? That's what I'm that's thinking. A, that's a good yeah. run. That's a good run. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a, a hot minute there where he's like, ooh, PJ Masks. And then he's like, I'm too old for PJ Masks. All right, then. <laughs> there goes that. Show me Deadpool. Yeah, where's Deadpool? Right. Straight, I watch Deadpool? straight from PJ Masks to Deadpool. <laughs> right to Deadpool. Anything else in new releases? What? I saw Lightyear Frontier came out, but I have not checked out what it was, but it, it sounded least interesting i looked it up game actually pass? i looked that up it's on game pass yeah, it's yeah. Like, it looks like a farming simulator but you're inside yes. a mech mm -hmm. i i saw that it yes. looked kind of good but I, I mean not i mean good for you <laughs> it looked yeah it looks like something that that was exactly my takeaway of this looks like something as half my household would play yeah yeah it looked like it had good graphics mm -hmm. and farming um I saw there was a few new things added came to Game Pass. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming. NBA uh, 2K24 and also like uh, No More Heroes 3. Some other shit. Control. All right, how about some uh, Wombat's well, Fortnightly news? How's the Fortnite season going, Wombat? Well, that's your cue. I, kn I know. I, I had like a hiccupy thing going on. I'm trying to swallow it down. <laughs> uh, it's going. A lot of people seem to be unhappy with the season. I've actually noticed that player counts have dropped a significant amount this season as opposed to last season. Are you saying that Zeus is not the draw that he once was? It's you know what the problem is? There's a hand there's a couple of problems with this current season as opposed to last season, which was last season was a was a very fun season. It was a new map and they added some cool elements with the with these medallion locations and these bosses. And there was also a vault and a workbench. And there was a lot going on at Peter these. Griffin. Yeah, Peter, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. He's still, he's still popping around. Yeah. There and, was. And, and I see him a lot, Peter Griffin. Anyway, there are the five locations. They were fairly spread out across the map. You go kill the boss, you get the medallion, you open the vault, you upgrade your weapons. And it was like a thing, but it was like, oh, where do you want to land? What near which one of these five yeah, things? Yeah, which one of these five things? It spread everybody out. This is the first season I've played, but I got like, I figured that's how it always was. Exactly. This and season, then, it is not that way. This season, it's just hot drop after hot drop. And like, we played three rounds tonight. And I found a gun in, two, in one of the three rounds before somebody was shooting me. So, yeah, it's now if you want the medallion, you got to land in one of two spots because there's two medallions and they're basically right. They're basically in the same location. Mm -hmm. So there's four medallions total. And it's like, OK, you can either land in this part of the map or that part of the map. And the rest of the map is just this dead zone of, oh, well, you know, there's stuff there. And it's not it doesn't quite work. They added these bunkers, which are, are a good idea, and it would make up for it in a lot of ways. But the bunkers don't open up until, like, the fourth circle. And it takes, you know, it's like there'll be 18 players left on the in the game when the bunkers finally open. It's way too late. So they either need to open the bunker sooner, add in more medallions more spread out, or add more workbenches or throughout the map because they got rid of all those other workbenches too and all those locations that still exist. 
So it's it's an issue, but it's a very fixable. It's fixable issues, but they need to get their ass in gear and fix those issues. So there you go. That is the state of Fortnite. And it's weird that Chip knows exactly what I'm talking about. You like it. <laughs> well, I, I just, I, I know what is wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can tell very clearly from one, one season to the next that this one is not as fun as the last one was because everything about it is making everybody be in the same areas. Even those bunkers that open up, as soon as those bunkers open up, it's got like a flashing thing up in the screen. And it's like, oh, there's a bu bunker opening up over here. And everybody runs over to the bunker and then it's just everybody shooting at everybody coming in out of the bunker. Yeah, because um, by the time the bunkers open up, you'll be lucky if there's two that are that you can get to without going into the storm. It's, yeah, it's not... It's like a good idea executed poorly. Um, like I said, hopefully they fix it. And it would, wouldn't take much. It's It literally would be like open the bunker sooner, add workbenches back to those old vaults, and that solves 70% of what people are complaining about this season, I think, like right away. Because then you're going to land in those other spots again. So We do have I, four screens going now, though. In, yeah, that's crazy. Room. That is crazy. We got our, Mrs. Shipwreck is the one that. Mm -hmm. So are the, you on the, the hook for here. four season passes? Uh, yeah, but some of those were from those discounted cheap okay. retail packs I had. I mm -hmm. just used the points from those to buy the, the passes. So, yeah. um, but yeah, so she got $30, like $30 new monitors from the auction site. And so. I think it's great. That's funny. It's so funny to me. It's a good season pass. I'll say that much. I like the pass itself, but I have noticed that, you know, where there were some nights last season where you'd get on and it would be like a random weekday night and there'd be 2 million people playing the game. I was on before the show and there was less than a, maybe less than a, you know, a million people maybe playing in the main battle Royale modes, mm. maybe a million people. Well, they added that Midas mode too, the lava floor. Yeah, the floor so that is lava. like siphons people off. Even that only had like, I mean, it had like 150,000 people playing, which is a lot for any which other is, game. Correct. Like, but for Fortnite to see, you know, the standard battle royale mode, the, you know, the build mode have 300,000 people in it is not a lot for that. And it, they, ha they must know. They have to know. They must look at this and be like, "Shit, we got to do something here." So, got to got to bring some more Family Guy characters. I, I, it's not even yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you know that'll something like that will always bring people back in just to check it out. But there's got to be something that keeps people around. They'll fix it. I'm confident they'll fix it. It's just I, I think I saw the racing game had six thousand people playing it. Yeah, like no one does. No one yikes! Does it's I mean, those, until they those extra modes, yeah, yeah, it's yes. no point until they figure mm -hmm. out a way to get your your avatars driving those cars. Mm -hmm. It's no one's going to give two shits. They are they adding it a... like a Mad Dash. Remember that game? No. Where you, mm -hmm. you were actually characters ran. It was a racing game where your I do remember were that. I do. They are Xbox. adding uh, Fall Guys into uh, Fortnite. Mm. That's going to be the next thing they announced that at the uh, State of Unreal today. Right. They had and all sorts of fun stuff. Did you see the Captain America game? Captain America Black Panther in a World War II game? I saw mm -hmm. a clip. Yeah, I saw a clip of it, but I thought it was like to demonstrate AI. I didn't realize what I was exactly I was watching. That's I a game. That is, it's an actual it's, game. It's an actual game. It's an game. actual game. Okay. But I agree. It looked like something that was generated with AI. Well, they oh, were talking was, about what I, the clip that I saw, they were talking about, I think they were using AI or machine learning to like generate the clothing movements or something like that. Or, I don't know. The facial expressions, maybe. I don't as know. Well. Uh, it uses Unreal Engine, whatever newest one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the, uh, what's it called? It's called 1943: The Rise of Hydra. Cool. Yeah, and it's from uh, what's what's her name? You know, shipwreck is, is it Amy Henning? Is that her name? Uncharted? No, no, yeah. Doug Henning. Doug Henning. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's so, cool. Yeah, 
I mean, it looks it won't be out for another year, so it doesn't really exist yet. But you know, we'll we'll put a pin in that for now. <laughs>